Welcome back everyone. We're going to go through another question from Elaine's school and now we're looking at a graph question. So let's have a look at this coordinate and graph question. So it says the point A41 uh, has been marked. You can see it there. The, the mark point B04, mark point C negative 30. The point D forms a square. A, B, C, D uh, write down the coordinates of D and then work out the area. Okay, so that's not too bad I think. So we've got to remember graphs zero four now here is a slightly different type of graph because one it doesn't have all the values for for the x-axis so you can see this missing here here and here but we can work out that they're going to be one two three four five six just it's just a pattern that we're kind of used to hopefully by now and then we've got one two three four uh on the y-axis and below negative one two three four and negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five is going to be again on the x-axis so now zero four don't forget that the origin here is zero and so zero four is going to be over here right so it's all the way up there and then you've got negative three zero so negative three on the x-axis so we always start off with the x-axis axis negative three is there and then zero is on the same line so we've got another one here so we've got these three coordinates so far let's join them together to work out how or have a look at how this looks okay we've got something like this all right so and it does say it's a square okay so it's a square so the way we would because it's kind of like it's not a, a square that's going vertically or horizontally we're kind of using diagonals here through the through the squares that we can see what we will need to do and what i always suggest to my students is measure from how you get from one point to another point one vertex to another vertex and instead of measuring diagonally because you know we, we don't know what that measurement is and we're not allowed to use a ruler we can just go up we're going up three here and then we're going across uh one two three four okay so up three across four hopefully you can just about see that on my board up three across four all right so what about on the other side the other two points let's have a look we're going across three now and down four right so let's write that down across three and down four okay so you can see there's a pattern of three four three four three four three four so the next one is going to be three four again right so let's see how that works is it three down one two three four across one two three four is that going to be our spot that we need for d let's see if i create the lines to make it a square is it a square yes it is we can see that is a perfect square and we can also just finalize this three across here and four up here and so we've got the three oops let me do that again we've got three four again everywhere we go from one corner to another corner one vertex to another vertex it's always three and four right the measurement's three and four so my point d um mark point c point d forms okay so now i've got point d now i can see the square i have to work out the area of this that's a bit more tricky, right? How do I work out the area? Well, one thing I can do actually, because I've made that red uh, square all around, the actual black square, I can then see that I've got like a rectangle like this. And in that rectangle, I've got something like a square like that in there. Now, if I first work out the area of this rectangle, which is what, a three plus four is seven, seven by seven, that rectangle, the larger rectangle is 49 square centimeters, seven times seven is 49 square centimeters. So that means that all of this is 49 square centimeters. And so if all of that's 49 square centimeters, how do I work out the area of the actual square that they want me to work out the area of? That's a bit more tricky, right? So how am I going to do that? Hmm. 
bit more tricky. Uh, I know. I know what I could do. I could take out this um, triangle. I can take out this triangle and this triangle and this triangle. If I take the area out of these triangles from the 49 square centimeters, then I'll be left with the, tri the square that I'm trying to work out the area of. That makes sense? Right, so let's do that then. Well, these are all the same. So actually, if I just work out one triangle and multiply by four, I'll work out the area of all four triangles. I know the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. And so three times four divided by two, three times four is only 12 divided by two is six. And so each of these are six square centimeters, six, 12, 18, 24, all together that's 24 square centimeters. So three times four divided by two equals six square centimeters. I've got four lots of those triangles, six, 12, 18, 24, that's 24 square centimeters. I need to subtract 14, uh, 24 from 49. 20 49 take away 4 is 45 take away 20 is 25 so the area of this square is 25 square centimeters is that okay does that make sense the coordinate of d i forgot to write down is going to be what is it going to be, it's going to be one negative three so one oops let me do that again one negative three are my coordinates for d Think that's about it for this question so does that make sense to you does that help you hopefully you can see that these questions do come up and it's normally a kind of like a if it's challenging it's more like a diagonal based um, or rotated square so it's not so easy on on something like a uh, on graph paper like this so what we need to kind of work out is from one point to another point how far is that vertically and horizontally and we just keep continuing that pattern all the way across and we get all four coordinates that works perfectly for squares so have a go um, at this question um, or similar questions like this if you can um, then let me know how if this has helped you